Hi everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today it is release day of 2020 Tops Allen and Ginter. So we've got a brand new hobby box for you today. There's three hits inside of each hobby box and we'll actually be breaking these tonight on the channel in about an hour. It says the three hits are autograph cards, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates and book cards. So it could be any of those three. I don't think we're guaranteed like one auto and one relic and one manufactured relic like we were with uh, the jumbo boxes of the base issue of Tops. But let's take a look at the box uh, and then we'll get to ripping these. There's 24 packs in here, eight cards per pack. Some of you guys really like Out and Ginter because it gives you the opportunity to find some pretty cool autographs from non-baseball um personas i guess you would say there's also what i call quote-unquote weirdo cards in here like uh i think this year instead of featuring unicorns and rainbows i think it's like uh minerals and uh oh i don't know horses waterfalls who knows we'll find out so let's see what we can find brayden is the sponsor for this video brayden thank you very much for allowing us to open your cards for this preview video let's see what we can find in here there's 300 cards in the base set and there's an additional 50 cards that are short printed at the end of that. So if we find anything numbered 301 to 350, those are your short prints. And typically those for guys that are no longer playing. Guys like Ralph Kiner and Gary Sheffield, Bob Feller. I'm just looking at the list really quick. Bill Mazeroski. So let's see what we can find in our box for Braden. We see there's a nice oversized box loader card inside. We'll set that aside for the end. Then we have our 24 packs. We'll be doing a little bit of Allen and Ginter over the next couple days. So you'll get used to seeing this product on the channel, I guess. Uh, tomorrow I'm thinking about doing a brand new series um, where I'm going to compare retail to hobby. We'll just kind of match them up and see what's the better deal. Now the price point of a box of Allen and Ginter, if you go on Steel City Collectibles after tax, it's I think $145.00. You might be able to pick one up a little cheaper on eBay from, uh, you know, card stores and such to get these really good discounts, these um, pre-order discounts on their cases. But uh, I'd say the price point's around $130 to $140 per box. So let's take a look at what we've got. We start off with Don Mattingly leading things off. The back of the card, if you're wondering what it looks like, it's the typical Allen & Ginter back. Gives you um, their stats, but they write it out longhand for you, make you do a little bit of work there. Reading, we have a Mike Moustakis. Nice card right there. The Moose, there is a Brooks Robinson card. Daniel, or Dakota Hudson. We have Juice. Who's that? I don't know. That's one of those weirdo cards that I, I, I mean, I guess I could read the back of some of these and try to figure them out. He was a barber for the Miami Marlins. How about that? The Juice. We got Jay Buhner. There's a mini card in every pack. So this is nine ways to first where they uh, chronicle nine different ways which you can reach first base. And one of those ways, as everybody knows, is a drop third strike. And there it is down on the farm. So no uni unicorns, rainbows, or horses. Uh, a bale of hay. Like, like what, do you, what do you even do with that? I, I don't know. That, that's one reason that uh, a lot of people dislike Alan and Ginter because... Sometimes you might buy a pack of cards, and there's eight cards per pack. You might get three, maybe even four, quote-unquote, weirdo cards. That's what I call them. We've got Aaron Judge. We've got a parallel. Maybe it's not a parallel. Maybe it's just uh, uh, like a, I don't know, a corn stalk. We'll see. There's Al Kaline Dobbins. Now, you know I don't know anything about football, so I don't know who that is. J.K. Dobbins. There is a Larry Walker. Mike Trout Mini is a nice one. And we have... A couple of towers as our card, the Petronas Towers uh, in Malaysia. So if you're an, I guess, you know, if you're an architect, that card is right up your alley. Next pack, we've got Eddie Matthews, Roger Maris. I like how they kind of, uh, you know, chronicle some of the older players. There's Jim Tomei. Masahiro Tanaka, some guy named LASIK. I'm guessing he's a skateboarder. Uh, Bucky LASIK, my brother would know all about him since he's a big skateboarding uh, fanatic. There's a field general, Yvonne Rodriguez. They're still looking for our first hit. There's supposed to be three in here. Let's see. We got Warren Spawn, AJ Puck. Now, the rookie card emblem is really kind of uh, almost camouflaged there. It doesn't really stand out. Usually, I'm used to seeing it like right front and center on the screen we got a cohen who is uh, andy cohen 
a multi uh, a multimedia presence or something. I have no idea. There's our first hit. It is a Gary Sanchez relic. So you got one of your three. And a nice piece of pinstripe material for Gary Sanchez. Congrats, Braden, on your first hit. There's a Gene Segura and the long ball lure, Jeff Bagwell. Let's see what else we can find for Braden. Hopefully everybody's having a nice Wednesday. We got Dave Winfield in our next pack. We got Throwback Thursday tomorrow. I think I'm going to release two videos tomorrow. I might do the Hobby versus Retail video tomorrow. Uh, Stein? Anybody know who that is? Because R.L. Stein. Okay, author. Didn't he write those uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark books? I never read them, but I remember seeing those in middle school. All the kids would read those. There's Johnny Cueto without the dreadlocks. In younger days, a debut to remember Johnny Cueto. Next pack up, we've got your Don Alvarez rookie card. That's a nice one. We got a Robin Yount. What else we have? Scurry. Again, I don't know anything about any sport, so Brianna Scurry. Uh, Gold Schmidt, Kirby Yates, Tom Seaver, a debut to remember. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I kind of like those cards, debut to remember. So this is a pretty nice looking, in my opinion. One of the highlights of the set so far. Nice little subset there. Michael Franco, JV, Justin Verlander, Howie Kendrick, Adbert Alzale, rookie card. There's a Miggy. And another debut to remember, Stephen Matz. Next pack up, this is the end of stack number one. We'll also have Alan and Gitter in our Saturday showdown this week. That'll be four boxes, so roughly $500 worth of cards up for grabs. Each person gets a stack, and uh, we'll be looking for numbered cards. And uh, I haven't really seen too many numbered cards yet. So, uh, for example, whoever had that stack might be out of luck. Now I'm going to have to really painstakingly go through all of these cards to make sure we get some numbered cards for... Uh, hopefully, we might only pull one card. Here's a hit right here, and it's Johnny Bananas, who is a reality show champion and host and uh, subject use memorabilia. So you get a Johnny Bananas shirt. For, I, I, what is this even from? Uh, okay, I don't even know what uh, show he was in. So I don't know if he was in Survivor or The Bachelor or I don't know. The real world, is that even still a thing? And then we got a piece of rock. Uh, interesting. Digging deep. They are definitely digging deep for the weirdo cards this year. Next pack up. Uh, do I even... I guess I sleeve the Johnny Bananas. I'll put it in the sleeve pile with the Gary Sanchez. Ken Griffey Jr. Nice card right there. We got a baseball Brit. Um, are they going to tell us his name? Joey Mellows. He acquired 40,000 Twitter followers and delighted diamond lovers everywhere as he traversed the United States in 2019. So baseball Brit, a Twitter user with 40K subscribers, and um, I guess he chronicled his um, trek throughout all of the Major League ballparks. What is this? The Swamp? And, uh, okay, it's a silo. Let's get excited for that. Next pack. Let's see what we can find. Usually in the preview videos, I do go a little slower than the case breaks. So, uh, you know, we'll be looking for mostly the hits in our case break tonight. And here comes a hit. It is going to be a framed relic of Buster Posey. I was hoping that you were going to have a framed auto. Nice Buster Posey. Uh, it says a memorabilia for, it doesn't say if it's game used or not but nice buster posey framed mini relic i like the frame minis i was really hoping you had a frame mini auto so three relics from our preview case and uh, not a single numbered card yet but what else can we find we have a roger clemens there's jake de grom uh, Matt Theis, Tim Anderson, Jose Canseco. We've got a low cane and long ball lure. Cecil Fielder telling us about his uh, 50, what was it, 51 home runs? Maybe his 520-foot home run that he hit out of Tiger Stadium. Next pack up for Braden. Well, you have three hits, and you have like half the box left. Maybe we'll get an extra hit. You never know. Joe Morgan, Craig Biggio. There's Oscar Mercado. There's the great Hannes Wagner, Mauricio Dubon. Looks like the good stuff is going to be right around the, uh, you know, near the end of each pack. Johnny Peralta with a debut to remember there. See if you can find yourself a uh, Luis Robert Brayden. I hope so. Nomar Garcia Parez in this one. Isan Diaz. Get our base cards done. And the ocean is another place where monsters live. Uh, at least you only have one weirdo card in that pack. Juan Marichal. Two packs left in the middle stack for Braden. 
We have, there's Juan Marichal again. We have a Chris Davis Conforto, Michael Conforto, Reggie Jackson, and be the first to crack the code. What is this? Uh, and win special 2020 Tops Allen & Gitter Code Breaker Autograph Cards. Um, I don't know if I should show this on camera in case there's some... What is this? Uh, I guess I was checking out the back to see if there is a, you know, a you know, like a serial number here or some sort of code, but it's not. It's just kind of like a promotional thing. If you, uh, you got to follow the code master on Twitter and go, go to that, um, the Ginter code, figure it out and win some autograph cards. So they're really making you work for your autograph cards from this product. <laughs> code breaking, that's not really up my alley. Um, I'm sure there's some people out there that could easily probably figure that out. Very interesting. There's Clevenger. That's kind of a, an interesting looking card without his hat on. Look at all his tattoos. I didn't even realize he was that tatted up. When I met him back in 2016 or 2017, he didn't have all those tattoos. There's a Bryce Harper. It's not numbered. And another piece of rock card. All right, Brayden, here's your last stack. Let's see what we can find. There's Duke Snyder, Whitey Ford, Tino Martinez, Austin Riley, Jesus Lusardo rookie card. Don't know who this is. Nyquist, it's Ryan Nyquist, who's a BMX legend. And Wilson Contreras is the last one there. We're down to about six packs left. Again, we'll have a grand total of three cases we're breaking tonight on release day. I have eight cases total that I purchased, but um, there's no way I'm going to be able to break eight cases tonight unless I want to stay up till 6 a.m. in the morning. And uh, don't want to do that. So we'll do three cases tonight. There's an Aquino. We'll do the rest of those cases on Sunday evening. There's Harmon Killebrew. What else can we find in here? And there are still spots available for those of you that would like to participate in our case breaks. If you're a Patreon member, uh, it's $3 a month. If you're not, if you'd like to sign up and you get access to the breaks. And I think we still have about two full cases with open spots available for... Sunday evening, there's Fernando Tatis Jr. Austin Meadows is one of my favorites. And wow, this is going to be quite a Saturday showdown that we're going to have with zero numbered cards. At least out of this box. Yvonne Rodriguez, John Lester, Ronald Acuna Jr. D.D. Gregorius, and we have a diamond. So just a picture of a diamond, not really worth anything. This is actually an insert set. Digging Deep insert set. I don't know what the uh, set is, is worth. Uh, someone on eBay is probably selling it and has put it together already, but I can't imagine that would be worth that much unless you're like a geologist or something. All right, let's see what we can find. Basically, we need to find a, uh, oh, I don't know, a numbered card in here because I'm worried about the Saturday Showdown. We might have to just nix the Saturday Showdown and give everybody refunds. If uh, I guess I'll have a better idea after our case break if there's going to be many numbered cards. Hunter Pence, and we have a big clock. So two more packs left. What do we have? Yon Moncada, Zach Gallen. There's a – this uh, name rings familiar. I think his name is Doc Emmerich, and I feel like uh, he's a Penguins announcer because he sat in on some Pirates broadcasts from time to time to time. Um, name sounds really familiar. I would hear him just kind of visit with Greg Brown and the crew on the Pirates broadcast. And here we go. Last final pack for Brayden. You got your three relics kind of early. And your last card after the Robbie, it is a chicken. So that's why some people don't like it because uh, roughly, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter, 20% to a quarter of your cards are what I call weirdo cards. Um, I don't know. Alan and Gitter, some people love it. Some people stay away from it. Uh, you know, kind of fun. At least, it, you know, the first day especially. It's going to be fun to see who we're pulling out of here. So let's check this out now. It's an oversized box loader card for Braden. And you have yourself a Christian Yelich. Let's get it to fit on the screen. Nice looking card right there for Braden. So Braden, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, one other thing before I get out of town here, at least, you know, go upstairs and prepare for my case break. I forgot to show you all the odds. So there are all of your odds. And, for, you know, purchase necessary, folks. There's that information as well. So I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. And uh, I hope you can check us out tonight in our live case break. And if you're watching this well after Wednesday, the, what is it, the 16th of September, then you can always watch the replay 
We'll have that up for you uh, shortly after the live stream ends. So have a great rest of your evening, and I will see you all tomorrow if I don't see you in the case break. Good night, everybody.